Be shy. Look this way. Just there we go. There we go. Do you think? Do you think I should talk about a Gretzko today? You think I should? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Hi. Today I want to talk about a Gretzko because it is one of the best animes that talks about being an adult and. I decided to pair it with a drink that I like to lovingly call the Purple Source Rex, named after a discontinued Kool-Aid flavor that is a grape and lemon fusion. And the reason I decided to pair these two things together is because, well, they're not really meant for children, but they look like they should be. Let's get on with the review. Kuchako, do you want to hear about, do you want to hear about the history of a Gretzko? Meh. Whatever, we're gonna go over it anyway. So, a Gretzko, or a Re aggressive Retsuko, is the brainchild of the Sanrio company. Uh-huh. And it was a few years ago, they had a contest where people could vote what they wanted, what they wanted the new character or design of a character to be. And apparently, she start, struck a chord with the theme, which was Salary Man for that year. Retsuko has a very, like, Retsuko's backstory is very familiar to many, many people. She works a high-stress job as an accountant at a high-profile finance company in Tokyo. But at night, she decides to go out and sing death metal at a karaoke bar just to blow off some steam. <laughs> Essentially, Retsuko is a pushover at work. You know, she's terrified of losing her job. But as the series shows, she doesn't really know much about the people she's interacting with in her job. And as the series progresses, you and Retsuko get to learn more about the people she works with day to day. And let me remind you, she's been working at this job for five years. There actually was a precursor to this Netflix show, and the episodes were between two and five minutes. You can actually find episode one on Sanrio's YouTube account. And it's just as fun. You can see a lot of influences of the net of this series within the Netflix series. <laughs> So the nice thing about Agretzko is there's actually a lot of lovable and hated characters within the series. You have literally a chauvinistic pig by the name of Ton, the lovable social media savvy Fenico. She's my favorite. I fucking love her laugh. <laughs> the marketing director Gory. She is the highest, one of the highest people on the food chain at Retsuko's company. Not gonna lie, our baddest bitch in the room walk is murder on my back. And Haida, who has a crush on Retsuko but doesn't exactly know how to tell her his feelings. I honestly think this series is an honest look at everyday office life, even though it's through the lens of a Sanrio product. Uh, it really does a lot of character development, even though the episodes are only 15 minutes long and there's only 10 of them, but it does a lot of character development to really get you to understand the world that Retsuko is living in. And really any job you've worked or any place where you've had to work with multiple people, you can understand Retsuko's feelings and even the feelings of her fellow coworkers. I mean, if anything else, remember, this series is bingeable within about two hours. Two hours! If you're looking for a great wrap up to a stressful day, I mean, consider watching Ret Aggressive Retsuko or Aggretsuko, or even just take a sip of my Purple Saurus Rex, which I will include the recipe down below, like a step-by-step -step recipe. I honestly should have done this video a lot sooner because I actually love Sanrio. If you haven't noticed, this is my favorite Sanrio character. Gretzko comes as a very close second. All right, bye.